All right, here it is, the mesh grow bag system. I kind of invented this, or I didn't, I don't know. I just took a bunch of stuff and threw it all together. Vinyl mesh fabric that I use with the uh, upholstery work that I do. Uh, bamboo sheaths, the, you know, the skin that grows around the column when it comes up at each node, so those fall off. So what you do is you get your bag, you put it in there, lava rock, charcoal stuff in the bottom. Here's some alfalfa cubes. That's nice for composting. You put some worm compost in there. This here's your worm compost because this is all compost. And if you look in here, there's like a million worms in there. So you put that in there with your other compost. Kind of like in there with all, your, you know, like banana peels and, you know, your asparagus part and the bad tomato in there and your coffee grounds and all that oh yeah and don't forget some alfalfa alfalfa is good a lot of nitrogen in there that helps the uh, compost and the worm casting start digesting the whole of everything in there mix that up take your old dirty soil that's all crappy mix some of that in there put some worm tea in there if you've got it help to revitalize this stuff there is some use in this, you know, there's charcoal chunks in there, rocks and stuff, a lot of perlite. Um, I mean, this is all carbon after all. So it's just, you know, big chunk of car a charcoal, that's carbon. So yeah, all this carbon-based stuff is good. So we just gotta take and peel all this back and run our edge pieces around here. So I think you can get the idea there. You just go around in a circle till you get to the other side. You get one and another and another. You just put those all around the whole perimeter so you get all the way around. Uh, if you don't have uh, sheaths from bamboo, here's a chunk of, uh, uh, that's a palm frond, piece of a palm frond leaf there. So I tore that off. You can shove that in there too, just to give a little bit more, uh, you know, side wall to the, you don't want to just mesh the see, see, that's perfect. That's great. And then like that, you're all the way around, so then you can just spread your dirt out against, push that out against the side there. Now you start filling all your good stuff in here with your worm compost and your table scraps and all that good, fun, yucky stuff in there. Look at those little baby worms in there. Isn't he cute? Look at him. Gitchy, gitchy, goo. Oh, man, they got a whole strawberry to eat. You lucky guys. All right, so you mix that around in there. Some alfalfa in there. I guess we're gonna get some worm tea over there. I got some nice rainwater stuff that filled up in the worm bin. All right, one more word about my worms here. These are African night crawlers. These are high performance eating machine. Anything you put in there, they pretty much devour, except for cabbage and uh, broccoli sprouts. But, um, and, and especially avocado. You put avocado in there, but did you know that worms don't just eat with their mouths and suck things up they can actually digest and absorb stuff through their skin this worm tea here that's got everything in it that the worm guts got in it so when you put worm tea in here like this this whole bag becomes oh there's a good little tomato i want to make sure i plant that somewhere so when you put all this worm gut stuff in here this worm tea you're creating a whole worm gut right in there i'm gonna have to water this in a little better this stuff the bag was pretty dry I just found this today dug it out we're gonna put a, another layer of kind of loose uh peat moss type stuff in there and azomite wood ash very important got to have some wood ash and azomite in there and uh we're gonna keep charging this thing up and get a plant in this and it's gonna be a very good bag this year.